Little thing. <laughs> They're talking. <laughs> oh. Green Life Bay. Happy Mother's Day, y'all. It's beautiful. I'm still in Orlando. Taking some time to myself. Out here getting a few miles in. I was on my way to Lake Como, but I think I know why Siri wanted me to go in this direction. So I decided to turn around and go back to my hostess's uh, home. Uh, happy birthday, I mean, happy birthday, happy Mother's Day, y'all. It's beautiful out, it's already getting humid. So I'm trying to get some walks in. Okay. I got to the Lake Como and Spirit was like, nope, go down this street. And I was like, I ain't never been down this street. I ain't never been here, Spirit. Like, I don't know where you trying to take me. Anyhow, I went down the street, y'all. And uh, I see what Spirit was trying to show me. And so let me say this, what I got from that. On this Mother's Day, know that, oops, wrong one, know that you are on a path right now that you may not understand, you may be worried about direction, you may be worried about if you're doing the right thing, you just may be worried, okay, and there's nothing wrong with that. But you need to get out of your head and open up to what God is putting right in front of your face. Even though the direction may not seem the direction that you want to go in, I promise you that it's the direction that's best for you. But you got to be open. Sometimes we are, we have fear of making a leap. Even though we know that it's the right leap and we know that it's going to, be good for us. We're not sure of what's going to happen on that road. But let me tell you, whatever road Spirit directs you down, Spirit's going to be right there. So it's not going to be an easy road because it's never easy when it's something that you really want or it's something that you want to bring into existence. It's never going to be easy. Okay? It's going to be challenges. You're going to have a learning curve on some of these things. Some of these things you're going to learn while you're going. And that's okay. As long as you're learning what you need to learn, it doesn't matter what it looks like. Even when it looks like you may be failing, I promise you, you're growing. I promise you. But you got to be willing to take that leap. When Spirit says, go down this road, don't, don't question it. Spirit knows us better than anyone. Just be like, okay, I ain't gonna lie, I'm scared, but uh, I believe you would never take me somewhere that would harm me, but to grow me, okay, understand that about spirit, understand that, understand that, uh, so I'm hearing I don't believe he brought me this far to leave me so you better believe that like spirit's not going to put you out in somewhere and not have a plan for you but it's about you really hanging in there and understanding that there is something in that space for you 
allow spirit to lead you. And sometimes you wonder, well, is it you? Can you give me a sign? Make sure you ask for that. Is it you that's talking to me? Especially if you're not sure of what you're hearing or hear what you not people, okay? There will be people who can give you some guidance. But I'm telling you that ultimate energy of knowing that you're on the right path is coming from spirit. You got to believe that. Believe it within yourself. Believe that you brought to we were brought to something that you're going to be able to conquer. You've conquered everything so far. Happy Mother's Day. 3-3 three, three as I look up. So 3-3 three, three could be important to you. Could also be about uh, coming together with people. Networking. Not just networking, but building. Okay? So make sure that you guys follow that lead that Spirit gives you. When Spirit's nudging you and saying, check this out. There's a reason for it. It's not a coincidence that you keep on thinking about something. It's not a coincidence that you keep on wondering about a certain thing. There is no coincidences, y'all. Okay? There's no coincidences. And you guys have to understand that it's all by design. Everything has already been laid out for you. Everything has already been put out there for you. It's up to you to grab a hold of it. I'm sweating my ass off. Okay. It's up to you, though. Free will is a thing. Free will is a thing. If you want to stay stuck, then go right ahead. But if you want to move forward, take them nudges as ways for you to say, yeah, I, I like that idea. I should do something with that. Oh, that's a good idea. I should do something with that. Well, I could do this. I should do something with that, okay? Well, thank you, Shayla. Grand Rising. You're getting your walk on also, Norton. I love it. Good. Y'all get out get some of this vitamin D. Even if the sun ain't out, trust me, it's still there. Okay. Get out. Get moving. Good morning. I'm trying to tell you, this is a totally different place than what I'm used to up north. Um, even in Texas, everybody's much more calmer. Okay, relaxed and waving at you when you're just walking by. Okay, making you understand. That there is a different part of being, a different way of being, and you're on to it. You're a part of it. There is no walking past somebody and turning your head, staring them in the face the whole way down the block, and then I get up on you, and you're turning your head or turning up your nose or some shit like this here. They do that shit up north. A lot. I don't know. But down here is a different breed. And I'm not saying it. There's not people like that here. But I guarantee you, most of the, most likely, they wasn't born here. <laughs> uh, I, I guarantee you, they moved here. Okay. I just, and I know, I understand that this, the South has its own issues, too, but so does the North. Okay. <laughs> um, but, yes, I, I'm enjoying my time down here in Florida. Uh, been all over the place with Miss Tamisha and her son, Davin, who is an amazing, he's an angel. He's an angel. I can't even, I even told him that. He has so many gifts and talents. He's 16, and he's a genius. And uh, he's an absolute angel. And uh, I didn't do a reading for him, but the Spirit just told me. <laughs> that's, that's an angel right there. I needed to look out for this one. So I'm getting my uh, 
people that are supposed to be a part of my mentoring. And I don't know why, but I'm getting really emotional. It's such a different world for me inside. And it's starting to show up on the outside. Happy Mother's Day. And I'm so excited to be here on this Mother's Day. I can't even, uh, I can't tell you the emotions that I'm feeling about really stepping into my purpose and knowing that is what I'm on the right path and that everything is coming together. I've had a series of blessings since April 8th that I can't even express and explain to you. And this is another one of them. I guess they call them charges is what Spirit is telling me. I'm getting my charges, which are my mentees, I guess. And uh, I'm excited to help people get on their spiritual journey and um, I'm overwhelmed with the duty that is before me. It's bigger than me and I know that. But I'll tell you, it's uh, it doesn't make it any easier even when God, you know that God is behind it. Uh, it doesn't make it any easier, y'all, but I know that I know that I know that I know. <laughs> and can nobody take that from me? I believe she is too. I love y'all too. I got you tearing up. I am. Um, I'm just grateful for the, uh, I thank God for the second chance in my life <laughs> to get it right. Because <laughs> I am I'm getting it right this time. <laughs> Everybody don't get that, you know? <laughs> I'm just, uh, emotional on this Mother's Day. I do. I miss my mom, but I know that she's helping me every step of the way like she shows up. She shows up in people. She shows up just everywhere I am. I can't even explain it, but I know it's her. I don't know what to say on this Mother's Day to y'all, except Happy Mother's Day, and enjoy your day, because we deserve the year. We don't just deserve the day. Oh, thank you so much. It's all God, I can honestly say. Don't worry about what's going on around you, y'all. It's not going to take you off your path unless you let it. Unless you start looking around at what other people got going on and being nosy about, that's when it's going to change. Stay focused on what spirit has for you in your life. What spirit has for you is for you. 
Nobody else. So you don't have to worry about what everybody else got or what everybody else is doing. And there goes the little bluebird coming up as I say that. <laughs> okay. Don't worry about it. I'm not saying don't care about people and don't support people. I'm saying make sure that you are focused on your drama, what you got going on in your life so that you can fix it, so that you can maintain a strong mind because that's what gets you where you want, the focus and the strong mind, using your head sometimes over your heart and knowing when to switch it up to your heart over your head, okay? It's a balance. It's absolutely a balance. You're not going to always have it. Life goes in cycles. There's always going to be something, another mountain. It's just like that Miley Cyrus song. There's always going to be another mountain. You're always going to want to make it move. And you are. But understand that it's not about the destination. It's about the climb. And that's what she says. You know, what's crazy is I had, when I got down here, I had already booked my hotel room weeks ago when I said I was coming. And there was a crazy thing that happened at the hotel and I wasn't able to stay there. Um, and Tamisha was there. She took me to my hotel. And she was like, don't worry about it. You coming home with me. And ever since we've been together, endless laughing, endless memories, good memories I'm making here with good folk, okay? And I'm so overjoyed at the new memories that I've been making from Chicago to Texas to Florida. I'm overjoyed with the love that Spirit is showing me exists in my life now. Because I love myself. Because I love myself. Do you understand? Happy Mother's Day. But do you understand? The joy that Spirit promised me is happening. It's happening right in front of my face. And Spirit said it would. It's, it's all going to happen right in front of you. You're going to all see it unfold. Spirit kept telling me I was going to see it unfold. And it started. And, and I'm sharing it with y'all. And so I hope it brings you some joy to your life. And I'm hoping it brings you some inspiration to keep going. <laughs> I don't care how rough it gets. Just keep going. <sighs> Just keep going. Happy Mother's Day. You got that right, Angel Sue. God saved the best for last. And I thank him for it. I thank him for everything that I've been through. 
for all of it because I wouldn't be right here right now. Happy Mother's Day, y'all. You too now. Y'all enjoy your day. Enjoy your time. Every day enjoy being just you. <laughs> just enjoy being you. And don't let nobody take it from you. Don't let nobody make you feel some type of way about who you are and what you have to offer. Definitely, Nicole. And it's not about the material things either. It never was with me, and I feel like that's why I was such an outcast most of the time of my life. It was never about the material. It was about love. And I knew that I was different. But I didn't know why. It didn't matter why to me. I just, when I was younger, I just wanted to be accepted by my family, by my friends, by just people. And I wasn't. But I wanted it bad. And it made me become a people pleaser because I wanted it so bad. And then I got hurt over and over and over and over and over. Family, friends, the church, co-workers. And I was tired. Lovers. <laughs> Children. Okay? So that's why... You got to keep pushing because it gets better. Once you realize why folks push you away, why so folks do you a certain way, because they are not where you are. They're not on that level. They're not on the level of wanting love or understanding it uh, at the the capacity that you give it. They don't understand it. At that capacity. Grand rising. So. Make sure that you guys. Understand that. Rejection is protection. Don't. Ever. Beg to be in someone's life. Don't ever lower your standards for anyone. You're a man, a woman, a child, your children, anybody, your employer, nobody. Don't you do it. Don't you do it. Don't you lower your standards. Don't you lower your frequency, your vibration, for nobody. Know that all you need is spirit. I'm telling you. Spirit will bring in everything that your heart desires. If you're in the will of God, if you are in the will of spirit, if you are doing stuff where you're not hurting anybody else and you are mentoring, teaching what you know, helping to grow your community, the way that you want to see the world is how you show up, I promise you, Spirit will give you the desires of your heart. It may not be quick, fast, you know how we want everything microwave. Okay? It don't work like that with spirit. Spirit got to build you up so that spirit knows that you're going to do the right thing when the time comes. When spirit says, okay, I need you to put on them uh, big girl panties or them big guy boxer briefs and stand in your power and lead my people. You know you're going to be ready. Because Spirit's already put you through a whole bunch of training. I mean, (laughs) 
you got the purple heart, you got the silver star, you got everything when you start working with spirit. Because spirit's already going to get you ready. Okay? Before. Before. Spirit says, okay, let me introduce you to your people. Spirit of... I'm trying to tell you, you need to be in the water drowning, going down, reaching up for help because you're drowning. That's what you think anyway. And the spirit grabs you and says, okay, let me help you get up here and dust you off and shit. All right. Let you eat right. You got to exercise the body that I gave you, okay? You are okay? You got to eat right in this body that I gave you. The temple, so you can hear me. So you can film me. So you can lead by an example. Okay, now. Let me see. What have you learned? What did you learn? Now go. Go and show somebody. Go and tell somebody. That's what it's all about. So don't let them ass whooping make you bitter and sour. Thank you so much. Happy Mother's Day to you. Don't let them circumstances that you find yourself in make you bitter and sour. Let them grow you. Benefit from that pain in some type of way. Don't you let that pain get you benefit from it. Turn that pain into power. Benefit. I know I didn't go through all that shit for nothing. And that's exactly what spirit tells you. No, you didn't. You didn't go through all that shit for nothing, baby. I got you. You just don't see it. And you're not supposed to see it because your ass gonna fuck it up. You're not supposed to see everything I got coming for you. All you need to know is the next few steps. And sometimes not even that. I just need you to step. Yeah, it's going to hurt. You don't know what kind of ground you about to put your foot on. Just know that I got you. So don't be scared to take that direction. Don't be scared. Spirit going to lead you back home. In the Bible, I don't know why it's coming up to me now. And I don't know what scripture it is by heart. But it says, if my people... Who are called by my name shall humble themselves and they shall pray again. Then will I heal their land. Okay? Then. So, guess what the fuck's happening? We waking the fuck up and we becoming humble. And if you don't, you're going to be left behind. The spirit is definitely getting the tribe ready for some amazing things. We're doing some amazing things in the tribe. I'm looking at them. I'm trying to tell you. The energy that I've been meeting, the people that I've been getting into their energy, and I'm telling you, spirit is about to raise up a tribe that's unfuckable with. Okay? I'm trying to tell you no one's going to be able to fuck with us. Nobody. They're going to try. Oh, they're going to try. But that's all they can do is try. That's all they can do. Because who is God before you? Who can be against you? If God be for you, whether they think God is for you or not, because there's some of them that are going to think that God ain't for you. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, there's going to be some that try to tell you that God ain't for you. Oh, God can't possibly be in that person's life because look at them. Okay? Look at what's going on with this person. You don't know what. God has put on somebody's life. I don't care what it looked like right now. They could be a crackhead on the street. 
Do you understand? Someone cooking meth in the meth lab in their home. Do you understand? My God can do anything but fail. Let's say that. You can't tell me that God ain't real. I don't care if there's a, pro there's a male prostitute, a female prostitute. They've been on the street for years. I'm telling you, somebody could say something and snatch the soul back into somebody. You've heard of Ezekiel spirits say, can these dry bones live? What do y'all think I'm doing? Took him to the graveyard, just saw a bunch of bones, dead bones. But I, we got dead people out here that are alive, y'all. And that's who I'm speaking to. That's who I'm trying to reach. That's who I know I'm supposed to reach. In my nook, in my niche. I'm not trying to be in nobody else's. I know what I've been through. Those are the people that I'm supposed to reach. I'm not worried about Uncle Johnny over here who's preaching at the Save a Lot Baptist Church from hell and Episcopal, I don't know, Ebenezer, whatever. I'm not talking about that. Whatever their ministry is, let them have it. You do what God has for you. Stay in your lane. And watch how you can let make them dead bones live again. Because there's something that you're going to be doing to bring a spark back to somebody. Something that you're going to be saying to bring somebody back to life because this world has snatched a lot of our people. God's people and made them feel like they are nothing that they are not worthy to have the life that they want to live the love in their life that they deserve remember it's the spirit of the person not the person itself but that doesn't mean you go around that spirit that doesn't mean that you go around that person. Understand, well, I understand. Well, that's my mother. That's my father. I don't care. Try the spirit by the spirit. If the spirit ain't right, get away from that spirit. I don't care who they are to you. If what you're doing what your existence seems to bother them, get away from those people. Mm. Sonia, you got this now. You got this. Don't you let nobody turn you around. Don't let nobody turn you around. I don't care what it looked like in front of you. You can see big, thick black clouds and big lightning storms in front of you. There's nothing back there for you. I promise you there's not. I promise. That's why you went through it. You don't sit and make camp in misery and sadness and bitterness. Because all you're going to bring into your life is misery, sadness, and bitterness. Always gonna pray for y'all on here. You got this. Hello. Good morning and grand rising to y'all and happy Mother's Day. You got this. I don't care what it looks like. I don't care. You could be in the hospital. You could be in jail. You could be in a shelter. You could be out of work. I don't care what it looks like. Sometimes God take us out of that job because we ain't even supposed to be in that shit anyway. Okay? 
I'm a witness. I can't tell you how many times I've had to leave a job because I'm just like, this is just not for me. This is just, I, it's not here. This is, it's not here. It's not here. And I don't, I don't care. I learned so many things from all the different jobs I had. Okay. But I'm trying to tell you sometimes spirits snatch stuff from you because it's not supposed to be there. And we look at it as a bad thing. And I get it. It's an inconvenience. It don't feel good. But know that you're going to survive it. Happy Mother's Day. Know that you're going to survive it. And know that you're going to thrive after it. It's not to break you. It's to make you. It really is. I'm a living witness. I really am. And if you're new here, stay a while. Get to know me. Get to know my story. Don't just be a, a follower. Make sure that you interact. Because you never know. The blessings that God has in store for you through other people. You don't know, but you got to be open into how they come in. You got to be open. There's a reason why Spirit blocked my time at that hotel. Because I would have been all around downtown looking at stuff downtown when I needed to actually meet people and talk to people and be in the company of what I've been asking for. You trying to seclude yourself in a hotel room? Oh, no, you're not doing that. Uh, uh, I let you get away with it for a minute. I'll let you have one night. Sure, you can have one night, but no. I, this is not what I brought you down here for, okay. That's not what I took you to them places for. I needed you to get to know people. Rihanna and her family inviting me in. Jackie and her family inviting me in. Tamisha and her family. It's not a coincidence that when I go to set up the hotels and it says, oh, your trip is booked and all this shit and everything is ready to go. And then I get there and they're like, oh, you know. It's like, oh, I have to think about it. So what is it that you want me to see? Ask spirits all the time. Don't be scared. I know that we were taught younger. Don't question God. Fuck that. Spirit said, I, just, I want you to talk to me. And anytime you talk to me, I'm going to give you the answer. I'm going to calm your fears. I'm going to wipe your tears. But I want you to talk to me. I want you to talk to me. That's how spirit knows that you want to be connected. Just like we can make connections down here. And oh, that's my best friend. And all this and all that. No, spirit's your best friend. And that's what spirit's going to show you. Good morning. Oh, it's amazing, Lewis. Thank you for asking. Don't mind the red eyes and the tears. It's happy tears. Joy. Lots of joy going on over here. Okay? It's amazing. I just came back. I think I did about three and a half miles because Spirit took me on some uh, off-the-map shit. I, you know I don't know where the fuck I'm at. And I went on down the street going to Lake Como. Okay? Or so I fucking thought. And then Spirit was like, oh, I need you to take this street over here. I'm like, I don't know where I am at. And I know that there's alligators and shit in Florida. So I don't know what the fuck. Where are you trying to take me, Spirit? Because I'm going to need you to just go on down this path. This was the channel's message, y'all. And that's why I came on to give it to y'all. Because I don't know where I was, okay? And... Spirit was just like, nope, I need you to go see this. There's something down here. There's something down here. And I'm like, okay, 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 okay. I'm going to go. But 
I'm going to have to get back on it. Then do what you got to do. Like, spirit, don't mess with me. Okay? And I saw what I needed to see. And that gave me the message for y'all. Is to don't doubt yourself. When you, when you hear spirit telling you to go in a certain direction and keep pushing you and telling you, Hey, and just giving you clues and throwing your people and throwing your signs and throwing your stuff. Don't ignore it. Go that direction, even if you don't know where it's going to take you. Because I'm telling you, Spirit's going to catch you every time and continue to give you direction. And even we'll change it up sometimes. Just go with it. Just go with it, I'm trying to tell you. The more you fight it, the more you fight it, the more shit you're going to go through. I've been through it my whole life, I'm just trying to tell you. When Spirit says, okay, you know you have a gift. And I knew I had a gift at seven. That's when I realized I had a gift, okay? At seven, after my father died. And I fought it all my life. I had to stay silent and be quiet and just sit in the corner with your pigtails and your pretty dress and shut the fuck up. Because I grew up in a family where it was strict. With the church, I'm trying to tell y'all. It was strict. Okay? Even my godmother. Oh, she must. Talk about going to church. I be sleep on the pew. They still, I wake up, they still, Jesus! Jesus! 11 o'clock at night, Lord Jesus. And I didn't understand. But I tell you, I understand it now. I understand it now. And I thank God for all the people. I grew up in the Pentecostal too. I could, yeah, yeah, yeah. And we grew up Baptist, Pentecostal. Uh, my grandmother helped start a church in Reading where I was born at. Uh, it's called the Church of Deliverance. It no longer exists. Um, It was a woman pastor, and I mean, it was in the 80s that I remember starting to go there. 70s, 80s, I probably was going since I was a baby, so. Um, it was a woman pastor. And you know back then, that was rare, okay? And she was strong, a very strong woman. I didn't agree with all of her teachings, which is why I didn't stay in that church. But, um, you know, I got... The foundation that I needed. But follow your gifts. And don't let anyone take them from you. The spirit is constantly pushing you. Into a direction. Or showing you something. Ask for a sign. You'll start seeing stuff. Pop up on your screen. You'll start seeing stuff. Pop up on your TV. And be like oh. Well I did ask about that. That's not a coincidence. And stop thinking that it is. Okay, just like when you go on Amazon and you're looking for a certain gadget and then you go into your email and all them daggone commercials that's on the side of your email is about that gadget, the Spirit is watching too, okay? Spirit is watching too. So Spirit going to give you them signs, going to give you them commercials, going to give you that whatever. Okay, hey, grand rising and happy Mother's Day. Grand rising. So don't y'all ignore those nudges. I'm telling you, if God brings you to it, God will bring you through it. Okay? We'll give you the people that you need to link up with in order to make what happen, what you're trying to make happen. Spirit will do it. And it could be at a distance. That person ain't got to be right there in your neighborhood. That person ain't got to be right there in your family. They don't. They really don't. Love is love. I don't care what you're trying to do, what you're trying to build. Spirit will make it happen as long as you're aligned. And you ain't trying to hurt nobody else. But you try to live your life and help others to live a more perfect life.
Because life is perfect, y'all. We just find every little thing to groan and grumble about. When you get up, life is perfect, period. When you get up, life is perfect, period. Happy Mother's Day. Make sure that y'all enjoy your day, but enjoy every day as a mother. Because I know that there's some trying times. But know that trouble don't last always. It's not meant to. Okay? So y'all don't don't mind the puffy eyes from the tears and all that stuff. Enjoy your day, y'all. I love y'all. I'll be back on very shortly because I'm going to do a reading for the mothers, but I'm going to get in the shower because I sure was sweating in my ass off. Okay. You're very welcome. And I hope that you guys enjoy your day. If I don't see you back on here when I get to the reading, um, just enjoy your time. Enjoy your day. I think we celebrated until 12-something last night for Mother's Day um, here. Uh, we was on the grill. We was fighting bugs. We uh, The outside bugs was messing with us last night, y'all. They was us. Uh, they was hating. They was hating and trying to get in the house. Um, they was on us. <laughs> they was really on us. But we had some chicken, some shrimp, some steak. Okay, some Spanish rice and collard greens. I'm trying to tell you. I don't know what we do today, but we sure going to enjoy it, okay? You're very welcome, Anna, and all of you. I hope that you guys enjoy. Bye.